In this video, we're going to do some problems with the pigeonhole principle, so let's get right into it. First question, if a theater holds 1,300 people, how many of those seats need to be filled to ensure that at least two people have the same first and last initials? Okay, so what's the condition here that we have to satisfy? Two people have the same first and last initials. Well, how many ways are there to make first and last initials? Well. Our first initial, we have 26 options. Our last initial, we have 26 options. So there's 26 squared ways to make first and last initials. So that means if we have 26 squared people, then everyone could fill up all those possible sets of initials, which means if we add one to that, we're guaranteed that somebody has the same first and last initial as somebody else. So here is our solution. 26 squared plus 1. And you can see that this theater holding 1300 people completely irrelevant to the question. That is there to test to see if you know what you're talking about and if you know how this principle works. Okay, second question, a little bit trickier. I'm going to let ABC be an equilateral triangle with AB equals to 1. So let's draw this first. So equilateral triangle, uh, we have A here, we have B here, we have C here. These all have lengths of 1. Okay. And I want to show that by selecting 10 points, there's at least 2 with distance less than or equal to a third apart. Okay, so I'm targeting this, this number here, this less than or equal to 1 third. So what I want to do is I want to split up these sides into distances of one third. So I can do this. So I just break each one up into three parts. So all of these are now one third in length. Um, okay. And now this is an equilateral triangle. So we know if we have two edges that are one third, then our third edge is also going to be one third. So we can make a bunch of mini triangles like this. So we have a third in this edge, we have a third in this edge. I know these are supposed to be equilateral. Uh, my drawing is definitely not to scale. So we're going to get one third edges here. And these are all going to be one third. I will stop labeling them now, though. So these are all thirds here. So now we have, let's count how many triangles we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine triangles. And we have 10 points. So if we put a point in each triangle, then when we put that 10th point in, what's going to happen is we're going to end up with two points in the same triangle. And we know that the points at most in a triangle can be one third apart. So by putting that 10th point in, we know that the distance is going to be less than or equal to a third apart between two points. So that is the second question. Um, so with, with words when you do these proofs, what you'll want to do is you'll want to label all of these. We have A, B, C. You'll want to label these D, E, F, G, H, I, and then you have a point J here. Using these triangles, you want to create regions R1, R2, R3, R4, and so on and so forth. So you can define the regions with these labels for IJD, DJE, JEF, and then with your regions you can specify, okay, all of these regions at most have a distance of one third from the furthest point to the, from two furthest points, and we're going to put a dot in each region, then that tenth dot has to go in one of the same regions we've already done, and there's the proof. Okay, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them as best that I can.